tell me you're insane without telling me you're insane. <laughs> um, okay, so you guys know the drill. This is my end of year K-pop collection binder flip through. Um, I had a Yo Song fan call this morning and I am very tired. So I feel like um, I probably sound very unenthusiastic in this video. <laughs> I'm just tired, so bear with me. Um, but yeah, without further ado, um, I'm probably going to fast forward through a lot of it. Um, if there is a specific card that you are curious about, leave a timestamp and a comment and I'll let you know. But yeah, let's just, let's, let's dive right in, let's go. I'm going to start with my non 80s binders and move smaller to larger. So let's start with my collect books and A7. So this is my Monday collect book. Um, this has not changed since last year. Um, I stopped collecting Monday after Vampara. So I have all of her cards through Vampara and then I stopped. So that is that. And it fills up the collect book perfectly. So she will remain the same until the end of time. <laughs> all right, so then moving on, we have my newest addition to the collect book, which is my Taehyun collect book. Um, I recently decided to drop my Yeonjun collection and I am now going to sporadically collect Taehyun. Um, so this is what I have so far and I do plan on getting more Taehyun cards and I've already treated some and I'm going to buy some. So yes, this will grow a little bit, um, but moving forward for their comebacks, I will probably just collect, you know, one or two here and there. So yes, that is my Taehyun collect book. And then also pretty recently I moved my Stacey J cards in here. So let's move this to the side. So I am up to date with my J cards, but there is one card that I still need to get. And it is this one, it's one more we need love. So that is one of my goals for 2024 is to finally buy one more we need love card to fill out. Let me move that. Um, yes, to fill out that one remaining spot. But yes, this is what I have up through Team Fresh. And I really love this little A7. Um, I feel like this is more of a collect book just because of how small it is. Um, yes, I really love this. Um, it's very cute and compact and perfect for my small J collection. So that is that. Moving on to my A5 binders. This is my Doshi Purple Kiss collection. So also recently changed a bit. I used to collect uh, Doshi and Yuki, but I decided to downsize a little bit and just collect Doshi. So this binder has been rearranged. There is cat hair and dust everywhere. Um, so this is up to date. Um, well, actually, no, I haven't put my Festa cards away. I have them all, but I have not put them away yet. That will be in my next storing photo cards video so that's gonna go here and these are larger inclusions i do not collect um larger inclusions i kind of just oh this is from the concert i put in here this is just like what i've gotten through group orders and stuff some trades but yeah so that is my doshi collection i am looking forward to seeing her grow so let's move on Next, we have my Edo collection. Um, so he is also, um, actually no, he's not up to date. I am missing a couple pops that I need to look on Mercari Japan for. So um, that is also a goal of mine in 2024 to finally get the pops I'm missing from the recent era. Um, but 
for the most part is pretty much complete um, and so with my Evo and Doshi collection I am going to be moving them into a different binder so that is going to be a future of collection diaries video and I'm looking forward to it very much so um, so yes because this binder was getting a little bit full and so I'm moving them into a binder where they will have those two collections will have a bit more room to grow so I do have all of these cards finally um, that will be in my next storing photo cards video oh no I'm missing one of the main versions again that is my one of my goals <laughs> I need to just finish the little extraneous cards I need to get for Edo I need to just finish it go in Mercari Japan buy them get it done um, but yeah this the saga of the group order manager that like ghosted everyone a joiner finally had to like step in and send out the cards for the group order, order manager um, so thank you to that joiner who did that um, but we did finally get our cards um, and yeah and I have two uh, pobs I need to buy from Lodotivide and then these are his Japanese cards I probably will not collect I mean I say that his Japanese cards are pretty easy to get like when when they do release um, Japanese stuff um, so I don't know and then some non album things some merch items just random merch things yeah all right so that is my Evo collection also looking forward to you know moving his cards into a new home and yes next binder this is my miscellaneous binder so this used to have my um, Yeonjun collection in it but I decided to move my um, miscellaneous cards in here because there's a bit more room um, so up in the front I have um, the large some larger TXT cards and the Yeonjun cards I decided to um, keep and these are some um, merch cards and I'm getting into my other groups, which I don't think any of this has changed. Maybe just some additional Psyker stuff, but yeah, let's uh, just speed run through this. Oh, these are the uh, Yuki cards I decided to keep. Um, these are just pobs, but I sold my Yuki collection. Yep, so that is it for my miscellaneous binder. Um, I will be moving, taking all these cards out of these sleeves um, and moving them into um, different pages um, so yes that might be an ASMR video <laughs> all right next binder next up we got my girlies dream catcher so this um, where am I at I do not have um, the most recent era yet villains um, I'm currently working on that and some cards will be in my next storing photo cards video um, but the apocalypse series is up to date I did finish that in my last storing photo cards video so that is at least complete And these are just pobs that I've gotten. And then this is moving on to my merch section. And now we're moving on to larger inclusions. I might take these out and either put them in a different binder or put them back in albums slash the photo books that they I think a lot of these are from the photo books and, and other merch items actually um I just don't particularly like having um these in here and I think it just takes up space um so 
yeah, I haven't decided yet, but I think just to save up space, since this is getting a little bit full, um, I might just take these out. Yep, so these are all the larger inclusions. All right, so that is it for my Dreamcatcher collection. Um, I feel like it probably hasn't been that much different compared to the last flip through, just the addition of finally finishing the Apocalypse series. So yeah, that was all my non 80s albums. So now um, let's move on to the ridiculous amount of 80s albums I have. Right. I keep saying albums and not binders, 80s binders. Um, so yes, along with my Stacey J collection, I also got this A7 for my Jungle cards. So this uh, will grow slowly because I kind of just keep whatever Jungle cards I like <laughs> that I want. Um, so yes, this will sporadically grow here and there. Um, and yeah, just a cute little binder for jungle. Okay, so starting from small to large. Next up, we have my um, Hong Sang A5 binder. So this is also going to get a new home, which will be a collection diaries video, and I'm also looking forward to that a lot. Um, so yeah, this is getting a little full. And I don't plan on slowing down anytime soon for this, so it needs a new home that is uh, has a little bit more room to it. So in the front, we have my unit cards and group cards. And this is from the um, fan kit. And then we get into broadcast cards. These are um, winner cards from Movement Era broadcasts. These are a Tinny Zone cards um, from their Anchor in Soul concert. And then these are broadcast postcards. And now we're getting into uh, regular uh, pre-order benefit cards, starting with um, Fever Part 1 era. This is season, season song? Season songs, yep. Favorite part three. This is when I was still collecting just Hong Joon and Hyo Song. Um, so I have a lot more pre-order benefits for them. But then once I started collecting Woo Young, I changed how many creator benefits I collected so then it kind of shifts and I have a lot less of just Hong Joon and Yo Song and I'm a little bit more selective nowadays <laughs> um, and then the yeah, end these are all for um, uh, whatchamacallit Will um, <laughs> William as my friend affectionately calls the album um, which that will be a future sorting photo cards video and then this is just some merch items. I use these as kind of a transition into the merch cards I have. Um, this is from their fifth anniversary photoism, um, whatchamacallit, photo booth thing. This is just a random Yosong merch page I have, and that is also a goal for 2024. I need to find another Yosong merch card to put here. Doesn't matter which one, I just want to find a cute one just to finally fill out this page. And then we get into, I have um, Hong Joon and Yo Song after this. So these are just random merch cards I have. This fills up more slowly. Normally it's, I only fill it up if there's like a photo book. I don't know if I'm going to buy any more Wonderwall or pot things just because it just gets to be too much. Um, so yes, the, the merch cards are significantly less compared to the uh, pre-order section. <laughs> Alright, so that is my Hong Sang A5 binder. Next we have my uh, bias line, Aaron line, um, pre-order benefit. A5 wide binder. 
So these start, what year was this? Fever part two? Um, yeah, this is starts with Fever part two. And these are pobs. And also the way I collect pobs has significantly changed as well once I started collecting for three members. Um, yeah, I always say I'm gonna collect less and then I never do. <laughs> but I do, I have actually started collecting um, less creator cards. This is from all the way through Bouncy. And then obviously for dear old William, um, those cards are not put away yet. And then these are some merch cards. And I'm also going to be rearranging. I'm, I'm gonna be doing a lot of rearranging because I always do a lot of rearranging. <laughs> um, but to have, to maximize the space in this binder, I'm going to be moving the merch cards out of here. So yeah, so you can also look forward to a Collection Diaries video on that. But yeah, these are merch items. Um, I kind of stopped, I think I'm gonna stop getting like bias line merch items and just focus on, if, if it's really a merch item I really want, um, probably just get Hong Song because it gets to be too expensive. So yes, all right. So that is the bias line binder. And then, Next up are the A4 binders. Moving on to my AT's A4 binders. This is an a -tiny room binder and I do keep OT8 cards in here, but I think I will have to retire these binders soon, even though I do like the design of them, but they are getting too full. Um, so I will be doing some rearranging, but this one is for my OT8 merch cards. So in the front, I have uh, fan-made cards. And then we get into the merch cards. I'm not gonna go through and name all of these, but if you have a specific question about a set, just leave a comment and let me know, and I will tell you where it's from, hopefully if I remember. I love these sets. This is this year's birthday merch. Yep. All right, so that's it for merch. And yeah, this binder is full. Um, so it just it needs a new home. I don't know what, I want to be able to use these um, a tiny room binders, so I don't know what um, I'm going to put in it, but I'll think of something. Um, so then also in an a tiny room binder, these are my OT8 POB sets. And also in the front, we have some fan-made cards. But yeah, like, the merch binder, I'm going to need to rehome these because it is just very full. Okay, so I think this is from Epilogue era, I believe, um, but it really starts with uh, movement is when I kind of started collecting OT8 pop sets. Um, this I also have cut back on how many because movement was kind of insane. Um, so. There's just a lot, and <laughs> I can't be doing this every time. This set, though, so good. And I will have some um, OT8 sets for the current era. But now, let's move on to my personal favorite binder, which is my album card binder. Okay, this big boy is my album card binder. This is probably my favorite binder just because I think with the bias line, it just looks really, really clean. And I just, I like how it's laid out. And yeah, I'm just really proud of this binder. So starting off, we have some um, cat tease cards um, that I got from um, a shop online. And these are some um, sub K IDs. 
And then this is obviously an OTH card. I think this is from OTUs. It's from OTUs. Um, yeah, you'll notice I don't like to start my binders like right on the first page. I kind of like an intro page of sorts. Um, but now we're getting into um, debut era. So this is all my album cards from debut to um, what will be Will. Um, the Will cards are not in here yet. Um, but yes, I am just very proud of how this all looks. And especially, I think I say this every time, this is my favorite spread. <laughs> I love this spread. It's just perfect. And then normally I set it up when they started doing the like a diary Z version. That's how I always set it up. But then for movement, when they started doing digi packs and like all the US store cards and stuff, I've kind of started to change it up a bit. Um, and I try and place the cards with like how they, um, the outfits are wearing and so kind of how best it looks together so the movement I still have um, like a diary Z but then yeah we get into some extra album cards the, the, these are the digipack cards and these are um, like US exclusive cards because this is when hello 82 kind of stepped in for the first time during movement era and the fucking IDs I hate the IDs um, and then the spinoff, and then they started doing polka albums with spinoff, so that also changes things. So yeah, I kind of had to adjust my layout a bit, um, but I still like how I set up the binder. Um, bouncy, and my diary unit spread. And I do have some pobs in here to help fill out pages. So that is it. And then Will, dear William, will go in here as well. And then I have some Japanese cards. I do not have all of their Japanese album cards because uh, sometimes they're annoying to get, but I kind of just got what works with my layout. Again, it's all about the layout for me. Gotta, it's got to look kind of, you know, aesthetic, you know. Yep, I wonder when they're going to do another Japanese release. It's been a while. So that is the album card binder, my favorite binder. I love it very dearly. I'm very proud of it, but it is getting very full. Like all my other binders, it is getting up there. So um, I may have to start a new album card binder soon and um you know retire this one um but yeah since the world series is ending i don't know if for the next era if i'll just start fresh um since this one is pretty full um okay so let's get into the larger inclusions binders now okay so this is um album postcards um this has actually changed this year before uh it had been the same for a while um i keep bias line in here and any unit and group postcards that we got in the albums and they hadn't done it for i think fever was the last time fever epilogue was last time and they hadn't done it um in the world or like for movement or for spinoff but then bouncy did have postcards. So this has actually been updated. Keep saying bouncy outlaw. <laughs> uh, so yeah, all this is still the same as it has been um, all through like treasure, fever, postcards, um, epilogue. And then we got the Ala postcard. So this I did OT because I had um, a lot. So, and these are from the Digipacks. These are also just really cool. I really like the, um, you know, illustrations. So I want to get OT. Um, and so I will be putting 
the Will postcards in here as well. Um, so that is just album post postcard binder. And then next up, this binder is all my merch larger inclusions. So here we have season's greetings. And then a fan kit. And see its greetings from this year. Did I skip a page? And then this is fan kit from this year. So that's that section. And this section is all uh, photo book related things. And also birthday card, uh, postcards. And then this section is uh, concert or like online concert related items or DVD related items. Anything related to a concert. It goes in this section. And this is kind of my miscellaneous merch section. So some of this is Wonderwall. Um, this is from um, one of the Lucky Draws for Movement. Um, this is a tinny room from last year. Got some other Wonderwall stuff in here. And then, oh, these don't fit too well. And then this is the Winter Snowman Factory merch. Okay, so that is it for <laughs> The larger inclusions by this this guy is also getting pretty full pretty full okay so that was my entire k-pop collection um there's a lot but i am also going to be doing a lot of rearranging to hopefully um lessen the number of binders i have so things are not so spread out um so yeah look forward to that in 2024 um, let me know if you guys have collection goals for 2024 and yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Um, thanks for spending the year with me and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.